Sam Kele Maseko is in Sharpville at the Josh Tabe Stadium and joins us live. Good afternoon, Sam Kele. Take us through what has been happening at the event there. Well, at uh, this event, uh, there was an issue of the generators not kicking in when there was a power outage and uh, an additional third generator had uh, to be used from Mr. Arthur Mufokati. But in essence, the president also had to cut uh, his uh, speech short due to the rain that uh, was here, heavy downpours, which forced the president to essentially cut uh, his speech in half, but also spoke about how human rights are being observed by this administration, how you have the right to vote, to choose the government that we want, the right to have economic activity, saying that as much as there is huge unemployment within the country, but the employment statistics since the dawn of democracy, they have doubled, also speaking of the service delivery issues and challenges that are there within this specific area of Shopville. Mfulene is saying that they have pumped in a lot of money to sort out the sewage issues within this specific municipality and that those who perished in 1960 on this very day of the 21st of March did not perish in vain as their blood, their sacrifices bore the freedoms that we enjoy uh, today. And also spoke about the Premier of the province, Panyaza Lusufi, and his jobs project, Nasi Isispani. But obviously we have not yet been alone in this particular production. Our colleagues, Natasha Piri has been covering uh, the political aspect you saw earlier on that Action SA leader Herman Mashaba, you also, also saw Bossa leader Musi Maimani, you also saw Ace Mahashule and Mzwanele Nyonso, they were alongside and our colleague Natasha Piri has been covering that particular aspect. At this point in time, she has also gone on to the EFF event that is being addressed by Mbuisen Ndlozi, the CCT member of the EFF. Over to you, Natasha. Well, thank you very much, uh, Samgele. Of course, like Samgele is saying, he's quite correct. As SABC News, he's been covering the official program by the president. And of course, I've been trailing various political parties that have come out here to commemorate and remember those who lost their lives uh, 64 years ago. Of course, I've just concluded right now that speech, but um, Vanele Nyonso, who just had his speech up, um, you know, up the road from the dam, we are now at the EFF's uh, event. And before I go into what is happening here with the EFF, I just want to go through what um, Zanele Nyonso, uh, the PAC leader of which he was actually leading the program of today, um, you know, had to say, just basically lamenting and uh, saying that, you know, uh, the current government, uh, the current regime is trying to rewrite history. But to them and to members of the PAC, they know this day as a shovel Langa massacre day. And to members um, of the families of the victims of those who lost their lives, it remains so. To them, it remains, uh, you know, such a day. He also then went on to address, um, you remember the letter that came out on Sunday there by um, Yeres Molot. Of course, you would know that the PAC has been having internal battles, internal fights over who is the president or not. And on Sunday, we saw a letter by Yeres Molot saying that they would support the likes of Al Jama and actually go to the polls to actually support the Al Jama party. We heard uh, Nyonzo, who felt that he did not mince his words, uh, saying that, um, you know, those leaders are actually going against the PAC. He had labeled them as sellouts and said not in the name of the PAC. Instead, saying that like-minded parties, uh, like Azapo and like Ace Mahashula's Act, will probably, uh, you know, go to the polls together. This comes at the backdrop. Uh, Sakina had an interview with the EFF uh, president, Mr. Julius Malema, just earlier on this month, and he had mentioned that, listen, he wouldn't mind, he wouldn't actually be keen and uh, likely to talk to like-minded parties, such as the African Transformation Movement and such as uh, the PAC. So that is uh, somewhat what actually came out uh, of what was actually said today. Quite an interesting observation. Every time when we come to this place on the 21st of March, it always rains. And you know that in African culture, uh, rain is a sign of blessing. Uh, just, just also to add on this point, uh, we heard Mr. Teddy so who was a survivor on the 1964 Shafu massacre, saying that every day on this day it actually rains. And back then, in 1960, uh, the same weather that we're experiencing right now, that was the same.
same thing, saying that God is probably washing down the blood of all those members who actually lost their lives. We have now currently just come to the EFF's, uh, you know, commemoration just down the road from the PAC. Uh, and uh, we said in those, actually currently speaking, we do want to speak to the provincial chair of the EFF in the province, and Kulnego Lego Dunga, shortly. And of course, he'll just also give us the sentiment of the EFF, as you would know that their main events today, they have their manifesto launch in the Eastern Cape. So the SABC News uh, do trust us, we've got you covered in terms of all these political parties that have come out here today in their numbers to actually, uh, you know, put their political differences aside, put their ideologies aside, and remember those who lost their lives uh, in 1960.